In this video, we are going to discuss about modeling of mechanical translational system. So, suppose think that there is a system G of S. Okay, this is my system, mechanical system G of S. Now, if I am going to give a input force, what will happen? I am going to push this object. Then, the object will move a certain distance x. So, what is my transfer function will be? Transfer function is ratio of output by input what is my output input is force that I am that I am apply so input is force output is displacement that I am getting so transfer function will be ratio of output by input so what you mean by translational system the system will move only in straight lines or in linear directions translational system means the system will move only in straight lines now we can model this mechanical system using three elements the first element is mass then second element is spring and the third element is dashboard that means we can make a model of this mechanical system using these three elements so first one it is mass as you know every mechanical system there will be a particular mass for every system there is a mass suppose it is a car then car will have a mass. Suppose it is a truck, truck will have a mass. So for every mechanical system, there will be a mass. When we are applying a force to the mechanical system, okay, the, due to the mass or due to the weight of that body, initially there will be a opposing force, right? If I am going to push a car, the opposing force will be less. If I am going to push a truck, the opposing force will be greater than that was there in the car. So there will be a small opposing force due to the mass. I am going to denote that as Fm. Okay. When we are applying a force to the mechanical system, due to the mass of the body, there will be a small opposing force. That is Fm. So mass, there will be opposing force Fm. Now spring. What do you mean by spring? This is a spring. Okay. Now when we are applying a force to the spring, the spring will compress. When we are applying a force, the spring will compress a certain distance. Due to the compression, the spring will oppose the initial force that we are giving. Like we are pushing the spring, the spring will oppose, right? So there will be opposing force offered by the spring. That I am going to denote with us Fk. Why k? Why we are using spring in this mechanical system? Because for every body there should be a stiffness that means if we push uh, we will say no the body should be stiff enough so for spring the stiffness it is denoted by the constant k stiffness constant so for finding the stiffness of this mechanical system we are using a spring and it is, it is denoted as fk okay so for spring the opposing force it is fk now dashboard what do you mean by dashboard dashboard is something similar like a, a syringe injection syringe there will be a cylinder okay then there will be a piston okay now there will be a fluid inside this cylinder now when we are pushing this piston there will be a force opposing force due to this fluid this is a viscous fluid when we are moving the piston or when we are applying force to this piston the piston will not move directly there will be a small opposing force offered by this liquid inside that cylinder so that is denoted by fb what do you mean by b b is the damping coefficient so there will be a small opposing force fb in dashboard so these are the three elements that are required to model a mechanical system now according to newton's second law the sum of all forces acting on a body for translational system the sum of all force acting on a body will be equal to zero according to newton's second law for a translational system the sum of all forces acting on this translational system will be zero so what are the forces First one is the applied force. Then these are the opposing forces. That is, I am going to put negative sign, okay? Minus Fm, minus Fk due to spring 
and minus fb due to dashboard that will be equal to zero now i am going to put this to other side so capital f will be equal to that is our applied force and these are our opposing force fk plus fb so this is the force balance equation of a mechanical translational system now we can find each of these forces individually so the first element is mass suppose think that there is a rigid body okay we are going to connect a mass to that rigid body now we are going to apply a force what will happen the mass will move a certain distance x so x is the displacement now as you know this is a mass due to this mass there will be a small opposing force due to the mass of the body i am denoting that with f now as you know the applied force will be equal to the opposing force they will cancel each other so the applied force will be equal to the opposing force and as we know according to newton's law force is equal to mass into acceleration so this force will be equal to mass into acceleration and we know acceleration is change in velocity by change in time velocity is change in displacement by change in time so if you are differentiating displacement we will get velocity if you are again differentiating displacement we will get acceleration so we can write acceleration is d square x by dt square so mass into acceleration so mass into acceleration this is the equation for mass the applied force will be equal to the opposing force which is equal to mass into d square x by dt square this is the equation for mass so we found fm fm equal to mass into d square x by dt square so first part is completed now the second element second element is a spring so i am going to connect a spring to a rigid surface now when i am going to apply a force f what will happen the spring will compress so it's compressed at a certain displacement okay so the spring will compress now due to this strings stiffness there will be a small opposing force fk k is the stiffness of string okay so there will be a small opposing force fk and now this applied force and opposing force will be equal now for the spring the opposing force is directly proportional to the displacement the opposing force is directly proportional to the displacement now for removing this proportionality con proportionality we are using the constant k k is the stiffness so we'll get k into x so fk will be equal to k into displacement where k is the stiffness of spring and x is the displacement so from here we got fk is capital k into x now suppose think that i am going to connect this spring i am not going to connect this spring anywhere okay here i have connected it to a rigid surface here i am not connecting it to anywhere so when we apply a force here this side it will move with the displacement x1 and here it will move with the displacement x2 so there will be displacement in both the sides here this side was it is rigid surface here when we apply force there will be displacement on both sides so what will be our f f will be k into x1 minus x2 okay if you are applying force on this side then x1 minus x2 if you are applying force on this side then it will be x2 minus x1 so f will be equal to k into x1 minus x2 when spring is not connected to a rigid surface both side can move now the third element that is dashboard suppose think that i am going to connect a dashboard to a rigid surface okay this is my dashboard now i am going to apply a force f what will happen dashboard will move a certain distance x and there will be a small opposing force due to damping coefficient i am denoting it with capital b so this is the opposing force now as you know dashboard is like a syringe i showed you okay inside syringe there will be a liquid okay or fluid will be there dashboard is used to show that our mechanical system is moving through a fluid 
fluid means there will be certain velocity velocity means dx by dt change in displacement by change in time so the opposing force there will be a small opposing force due to the velocity of fluid inside our dashboard hope you understand so for this applied force will be equal to the opposing force fb which is equal to damping coefficient b into change in displacement by change in time that is velocity velocity of the fluid inside our syringe or inside our dashboard so this is the equation for fb that is b into dx by dt what is dx by dt the velocity of fluid the force there will be there will be opposing force due to the fluid inside this dashboard okay now suppose think that this dashboard is not connected to anywhere it is free like this so when we apply force there will be displacement here that is x1 and there will be displacement here that is x2 so the opposing force fb will be equal to b into d by dt of x1 minus x2 if we are giving force on this side then it will be x2 minus x1 thus we got the three opposing forces according to newton's second law the sum of forces this is the applied force capital f then sum of forces means these are opposing forces so negative sign minus fm minus fk minus fb will be equal to zero i am moving this negative to that side then it will become capital f equal to fm plus fk plus fb this is the force balance equation from this we will get f equal to fm fm it is m d square x by dt square plus fk it is kx plus fb fb it is b into dx by dt now these are differential equation see dy by dx like that in that format this is a differential equation solving differential equation is not so easy for because of that we will convert this differential equation into algebraic equation how we will convert we will convert differential equation into algebraic equation using laplace transform so laplace transform of d by dt it is s d square by dt square it will be s square d cube by dt cube it will be s cube so here mass is a constant i will write like that then d square by dt square d square by dt square it is s square so s square then there is small letter x so when we do the apples transform it will become capital x plus k into x here there is no d by dt term so small letter x will become capital x plus b into d by dt d by dt we need to substitute s then this displacement small letter x that we will convert into capital x so we will get f equal to like this now here x is common in this three so we will take x outside then it will become m s square plus k plus bs that is equal to our force f now what is transfer function that is output by input so output is the displacement x and input is the capital x okay input is the force so for getting x by f what we will have to do we will move this to this side we need this in the format x by f so we will move this f here and we will move this section to that side so we will get x by f equal to 1 by m square plus k plus bs so this is our transfer function now we converted differential equation this was our differential equation we converted it into algebraic equation using laplace transform so this is our algebraic equation like the format ax square plus bx plus c see ax square plus bs bx plus c in that format we are getting algebraic equation with that algebraic equation it is very easy to find transfer function if we get transfer function then it is very easy to find output for certain input if you are giving if you are going to give step input what is my output if you are going to give impulse input what is going to be my output we can predict our output if we know the transfer function we can calculate with the certain inputs 
So in the next video, we can do a problem based on this topic.